yes, we expect James Webb to make great discoveries. We expect that. Well, I think these pictures are spectacular. They're breathtaking. The universe's ancient era, known as the Dark Ages, is experiencing an extraordinary influx of illuminating phenomena. Surprisingly, available data suggests that during this period, stars had yet to emerge and the notion of galaxies seemed inconceivable. However, this perception is rapidly transforming. The cosmos, born from the cataclysmic event of the Big Bang, now presents itself as a profound enigma defying our previous understanding. We have now uncovered galaxies from the early stages of the universe thanks to the remarkable James Webb Space Telescope equipped with its extraordinary infrared detection capabilities. And now two of the most renowned physicists of our time are proclaiming that the JWST is single-handedly disrupting our understanding of the cosmos. Their voices echo with astonishment as they react to the telescope's latest discovery which unfolded merely last week. Webb, with its unparalleled capabilities, has caught sight of an extraordinary event, an epic collision between galaxies at the very edge of the universe and spotting something so colossal it surpasses our Sun by a staggering factor of 10,000. What do these astonishing discoveries mean? Join us in today's video as we discuss how the JWST is upsetting everything according to Michio Kaku and Neil deGrasse Tyson. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, majestic galaxies like our beloved Milky Way are thought to have emerged through cosmic encounters among the earliest galactic entities. These nascent formations were mere specks, minuscule clusters of stars adrift in the cosmic void. However, the incredible power of the James Webb Space Telescope has bestowed upon us a glimpse into the realms of the universe's earliest galaxies, each spanning a mere few hundred light years. Born a mere 430 million years after the cataclysmic Big Bang, these infant galaxies engage in an ethereal celestial waltz on the verge of merging into a grander cosmic entity. This groundbreaking revelation carries the potential to unlock the enigmatic secrets of galactic evolution during the nascent stages of our universe, unraveling the awe-inspiring wonders and mystiques that shroud our cosmic origins. Yet a twist of fate ensues. Enter Max 0647 JD, or Max JD, an exceptionally remote entity first observed a decade ago. Initially hailed as the most distant galaxy ever witnessed, Max JD remains among the earliest objects we can scrutinize in exquisite detail using the JWST. Typically, galaxies from the dawn of time elude our gaze, their faintness and remoteness concealing their existence. However, Max JD's light, after a journey of eons, has undergone a remarkable triadic lensing phenomenon, magnifying and distorting its radiance as it traverses a colossal galaxy cluster. To our eyes, the cluster warps the very fabric of space-time, transforming the light into a captivating trinity of images. These images, amplified by factors of 8, 5 and 2, dazzle us with their brilliance, surpassing other galaxies at comparable distances. Yet a captivating twist awaits. What was once perceived as a solitary entity now unveils itself as two burgeoning celestial infants, christened A and B. Luminescent and expansive, A boasts recent stellar birth and a pristine absence of cosmic dust. In contrast, B presents an older countenance, adorned with a hint of stardust. Their divergent histories of star formation suggest they originated from distant realms, converging only in recent times. However, some scientists harbour reservations, reluctant to embrace this notion. They propose alternative scenarios, a potential merger, the possibility of one galaxy serving as a satellite to the other, or the notion that both components are integral parts of a larger cosmic tapestry. As we await further details, the mysteries persist. But let us venture further into the breathtaking revelations unveiled by the extraordinary Webb Telescope, unfurling the universe in unprecedented splendor. Just last week, JWST unearthed a groundbreaking clue, a revelation that millions of supermassive stars, colossal in size up to 10,000 times the mass of our Sun, may have dwelled at the dawn of creation. 
born a mere 440 million years after the resounding Big Bang, these stellar behemoths have the potential to illuminate the cosmic process of heavy element synthesis. Researchers, dubbing these colossal stars as celestial monsters, published their remarkable findings in the esteemed journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. With the data amassed by the James Webb Space Telescope, we believe we have stumbled upon the initial traces of these extraordinary stellar entities, declared Corinne Charbonnel, lead author of the study and an esteemed astronomy professor at the University of Geneva in Switzerland, expressing the profound implications of their discovery. Chemical traces of colossal stars were discovered within globular clusters, dense agglomerations of tens of thousands to millions of tightly packed stars, many of which are among the universe's most ancient formations. Scattered throughout our Milky Way galaxy, approximately 180 globular clusters act as portals to the distant past, providing astronomers with glimpses into the earliest epochs of our cosmos. Mysteriously, some of the stars in these clusters have wildly different proportions of elements – oxygen, nitrogen, sodium and aluminium – despite forming at roughly the same time and from the same gas and dust clouds 13.4 billion years ago. Astronomers propose that this remarkable elemental variety can be attributed to the presence of supermassive stars – celestial behemoths born in the denser environs of the early universe. These colossal entities consumed their fuel at significantly higher temperatures, generating heavier elements that subsequently contaminated smaller, nascent stars comprising lighter elements. However, the search for these stars has proven challenging. Ranging from 5,000 to 10,000 times the mass of our Sun, these blazing giants engulfed themselves in temperatures reaching 135 million degrees Fahrenheit, 75 million degrees Celsius. Given that larger, brighter and hotter stars experience rapid life cycles, these cosmic titans have long since met their demise through ferociously explosive events known as hypernovas. And that's not all. The JWST recently detected six galaxies that appeared just 500 million years after the Big Bang. Moreover, these galaxies are fully developed and contain more stars than today's Milky Way. Their existence challenges our cosmological model, adding discomfort for scientists. The University of Minnesota researchers have found one of these galaxies to be so peculiar that it may require revising our understanding. According to Michio Kaku, well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang, that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. There should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy and that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong we may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. And not just Mr. Kaku, but even the famous astrophysicist and science communicator Neil deGrasse Tyson is stunned. All right, so now let's tune the telescope into galaxies being born and oh my gosh, who ordered this? We're finding galaxies in the dark ages. Based on cosmic inflation theory, the universe emerged from an incredibly hot dense point, the Big Bang. Inflation caused a rapid expansion, increasing the universe's size 90 times in less than a trillionth of a trillionth of a second. As the universe expanded, cooled and matter formed, it went from subatomic to tennis ball size within an instant. Subsequently, the universe continued to grow at a slower pace, with matter such as neutrons, protons, electrons, photons and neutrinos appearing within one second of the Big Bang. During the initial three minutes of the universe's existence, light elements were created through Big Bang nucleosynthesis. However, for approximately 380,000 years, the universe was too hot for light to be visible. The intense heat resulted in atoms colliding and breaking apart, forming a dense plasma composed of protons, neutrons and electrons that scattered light like fog. Around 380,000 years later, matter began to cool, allowing the formation of atoms. However, as no stars or bright objects had developed at this point, 
the universe remained in darkness. Fast forward to 400 million years after the Big Bang and we witness the universe emerging from its dark ages. This period, known as the Age of Reionization, lasted for over 500 million years and marked the appearance of the first stars. Scientists believed that galaxies started to form within the first billion years after the Big Bang, reaching a more mature stage at around 1 to 2 billion years. However, the James Webb Space Telescope, with this surprising discovery, has identified not just one, but six fully formed galaxies that existed only 500 million years after the Big Bang. This poses a problem. By utilising groundbreaking observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, a team from the University of Minnesota Twin Cities examined a unique tiny galaxy that generated new stars at an incredibly high rate given its size. This galaxy, one of the smallest ever discovered at such a distance, could provide valuable insights into the galaxies that emerged shortly after the birth of the universe. And in the vast cosmic tapestry, this galaxy is so minuscule its volume merely a millionth of our magnificent Milky Way. Yet despite its diminutive size, it continues to give birth to stars at a rate that rivals its colossal counterparts. These ancient galaxies that thrived during the universe's infancy are a far cry from the celestial wonders we encounter in the nearby cosmos today. By delving into the depths of these cosmic enigmas, Scientists strive to unravel the enigmatic origins of the first stars and galaxies concealed within the cosmic dark ages. The universe's grand debut remains shrouded in mystery awaiting revelation. With each passing day, the James Webb Space Telescope unveils a trove of revelations, uncovering an early universe far stranger than our wildest imaginations. As we behold these cosmic marvels, a question emerges. Are we on the brink of a monumental reimagining, challenging the very essence of the Big Bang, or does the established order stand steadfast? Share your thoughts and join the discussion in the comments below.